in case you were wondering what this is, this is a forward scattering spectrometer. Now I know that's a very fancy word. We're just going to call it a cloud probe. Generally, this is mounted on an airplane, but because of our unique position here on Storm Peak, it can actually collect data from clouds right here in place, and it's one of the many instruments we use here to solve the incredibly difficult puzzle of our climate. It's like a sort of frying pan sizzling away. The sun seems to beat off the ground and reflect back onto you, making it even hotter. You're out in the blazing sun. Your heart is racing. You've stopped sweating and you've become disoriented. You need to find shade, but there isn't any available. Here's a simple solution. Take any t-shirt, put your head through the neck hole, tie the sleeves behind your head. I like to call this a ninja sun hat. Covering your head and skin can help keep your body from overheating and protect against awful UV rays, which can cause cancer. The bottom line, Overexposure to the sun can be deadly. Hi, Richard. Honest, good morning, Rick. Friday good morning, morning. Allison. Good morning. And good morning, everyone. Now, I got to say something. The other day I walked out here, we had a little rain, and I saw Brian Kilmeade standing out here alone mm. beside himself, his head <laughs> craned up like that. It looks like he was catching rain in his mouth. And I, and I said, Brian, what's the matter? You know, the water cooler's inside. He said, Richard, I'm not thirsty. He goes, I'm just, you know, testing how terminal velocity affects the speed of a raindrop. So, of course, I scratched my chin. I went through one of my hydrology books. I went through a meteorological book. And I finally have the answer for you of what the speed of a raindrop is. But first, we're going to go to our Fox Travel Cast. Okay, the answer to your question, how fast does a raindrop actually fall? Well, the Nolan Ryan of raindrops would actually go 18 miles per hour, but the average raindrop falls at 7 miles per hour. Ryan, there's the answer to your question. Hey, Richard, you have a great, a great tie on, too. I see that's a, a weather tie there with the umbrellas going. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you for noticing hey, my little fashion that. choice there. Oh, Appropriate? Nice. Uh, appropriate. Uh, hopefully not too appropriate for this weekend because I'm planning on heading out to the beach. And incidentally, water temperatures right now off Long Island, New Jersey in the low to mid 70s. So it's a nice weekend in terms of going into the water. Great. Good. Some bizarre sights over the skies of Columbia, Missouri last night. Yes, that's a giant pumpkin, all sugar-free. It's one of just 20 uniquely shaped hot air balloons that took flight at the U.S. National Hot Air Balloon Championships. Now, these special shaped balloons require about twice as much time to fill. They're also about five times heavier than normal size ones. And in case you're in the area, you can catch some more tonight, and the event will last for nine days. Good morning, everyone. Well, it looks like they're going to have some rain in that area, so the balloons, I think, will be on the ground in the overnight period because they are getting some soaking rains in the Midwest, especially in the upper Midwest. We had some tornadoes touch down in Minnesota. Also, some of that rain continues down through Iowa into Missouri, all a result of a storm system located over Iowa. This is generally moving to the northeast. Now, the big change in our weather map is really a flow from the Gulf. As we have a Bermuda high offshore, winds are going to kick out of the southeast, and you're going to have a lot of humidity pushing in. Your temperatures have been in the 80s. By Sunday, you could be looking at 90 degrees. As far as Texas, another hot day on store there. 96 in Dallas. And uh, some of the temperatures in the desert regions could actually get upwards of 100 degrees. Now, a little further up into the northwest, some cool conditions through Montana, Wyoming. Temperatures this morning only in the 40s as we get into the northwest. Seattle, you have had an absolutely fantastic day. Temperatures in the 70s. And as far as the West Coast, an absolutely wonderful, beautiful time. This year, we have yet to reach 75. And next week, it doesn't even look like we'll reach 75 again. So when we hit it, we'll hit you it. may say, where is summer? And you know when summer comes, people say, I've had enough. All right, let's look outside right now. It is partly cloudy. You'll see those clouds dissipating. Temperature 54 degrees, but certainly it feels much cooler. Winds are out of the northwest at 17. We've seen wind gusts as high as 31 miles per hour. As that storm system pulls off, pressure is rising. Now, temperatures have been a little on the cool side. Today's high was 63. Normally, we should be at 70. We're in the high 50s through most of the day. We're three degrees below normal. Now, why so windy? Well, what causes wind is pressure differentials. Now, basically what that is, is when you have a mound of high pressure to the south like we had, a low pressure system over us. And if you think of this as a hill and this is a valley, the closer the hill is to the valley, 
the stronger the winds. Now, the reason I have this upper level low here, it was over Mount Washington. Now, Mount Washington is one of the windiest places on Earth. Typically, one out of three nights will have hurricane force winds. This morning, the conditions were calm, but certainly those conditions will change as that low pressure system starts to move offshore. Now, if you take a look at our radar, just a few scattered showers as that storm system does pull away. That's a result of some wraparound moisture to our south. Down to our southwest, we have high pressure. This high pressure is going to be building in for tomorrow, so we should have plenty of brilliant sunshine. As the week progresses, we have a low pressure system, which could give us some thunderstorms on Monday. As we go ahead to our five-day forecast, it looks like a decent forecast, but again, temperatures running a little below. But as far as tomorrow, it looks like moms across the metro area will have a nice day. Back to you, Reg.